cutting out here to feed the cows again. Feed the little cows. October 23rd, Sunday evening. Feed them and go home. Gotta go to work tomorrow. Well, y'all, it's Tuesday. Dad ventured out the house to come feed the cows. He uh, he been sitting in the house since since uh, Friday. So, or uh, yeah, since Friday when he got back. So he already fed the calves. I fed the cat. And he says we need to put two hay bales down the road, so I guess I'm gonna go cut the string and open the gate for him since he's hell bent on doing it. Turn the light on so he can see what he's doing. We are caught up to him. We don't want to go no faster, we'll run him over. Hello cows. Can't even see the cows in the dark. That one's got white horns. They shine. Cows. Going across the field. Emily showed up. The neighbor's coming home. That little scenario reminded me of something. Back in the day, we was bailing hay down the road there. Just down the road from where we were just at. And uh, I was probably seven, maybe. Something like that. And Dad had the Ford 5000 loader hooked to the baler. And uh, he says, can you drive the truck back? I said, yep, I can do it. I can drive the truck back. Old Ford, Ford, old Ford, Ford Courier. Um, I couldn't reach the pedals, but I could edge the edge of the seat. I could get on the pedals. I could put it in gear and I could turn the steering wheel. And I drove it back to the farm here. I was probably seven at the time. That was the first time I ever drove on an asphalt road. Well, well, this right here behind me was the only asphalt back then. That down there was all gravel road. But I did it. I was driving tractors at five and and four, well, three, three or four. I drove a truck at seven. And after that, it was all on after that. Howdy, y'all. We in Swoopy, Virginia. Going to a toy show. At a church. In the garage. <laughs> Events place. They put this one way back in the hills. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how to turn that off. Swoopy. Way back in the hills of Stanton. Outside of Stanton. Got a lot of scouts on that table. <laughs> Is 
there's one of those boxes. There's one of those boxes. Oh, that 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 yeah, that okay. guy in had a hide in uh in uh Indiana. Oh, yeah, except that's no, it was Indiana. Except that was a ten sixty or nine sixty six. The one over the one over there had like a fifteen I mean a ten eighty six in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Not a whole lot. Yeah. I'm going to have to get into this part. Yeah. Or I get to come around and sit down and socialize all day. <laughs> Except I got to get out of bed a lot earlier in the morning. bunch of houses and that one right there with the loaders all kinds of custom made I'm sure Is that the other one? no the other one Check out this, y'all. Check it out. Blast from the past. <laughs> the whole, day, we, 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 we missing out on the car or something. One day I went from going to Orange. That one's cool. And going down through uh, a bunch of them. Well, y'all, we sitting down here. Going to show you what we brought home. This is like October 29th. I grabbed us a mail truck. A car lift, a Navy International green light, a regular green light International. I want one of those. Grab this little gravity here. Finally got us one of the bush hog bush hogs. Grab the second one of the uh, international. We're totally gonna pull one of those out to play with. Got us a New Holland truck trailer with skid loader. Got us the uh, 1206 Wheatland. Harvester bought this one with his own money. And uh, then he came back and, well, then me and Emily bought this one for him. Because uh, this is the one he picked out, but I guess it wasn't quite as cool as the dump truck. So anyways... So he, we bought that one for him. And he was playing with this year's sprayer. I mean, uh, yeah, but this is not the toy for this boy. This got really delicate booms. That's not the toy for the boy. He would destroy that in five minutes. But anyways, he was sitting on the floor trying to play with it. And that guy comes over and is like, could you not play with that one? 
like that one's really delicate you will definitely break it i grabbed me i grabbed this one because uh there was only one left in the box after we took all the other three they were in the bottom box we got a little baler i don't know why i bought this one but it was already out the package and well i figured it needed all of them we'll, we'll find somewhere to put it grab this little disc because uh harvester was talking about he wanted the disc so i grabbed that one and uh well, I've been drooling over one of these for quite a while. And uh, these things are stupid expensive. But anyways, this one is a International Transtar Cab Over. And that is why I wanted it for the most part. But then I got thinking about it too. This trailer here. If you were to take the decals and stuff off of it, remove this little sticker, that looked real good with a nice international symbol right there. And, uh, you know, to be a toy hauler for a bunch of pulling tractors, that looked real snazzy like that. But I really just wanted the tractor because, I mean, that's just a cool old cab over. So, we, we, uh, we grabbed that up and uh, we sat down and figured it all up and well pretty much got the disc for free um, the guy you know charged me this much for the stuff the truck and the other items and then the other guys like well, well just give me this much so I did and well we pretty much end up with a free disc and that's pretty awesome. We never been to Swoop, Virginia before. Didn't even know where it was until I looked it up after I found the uh the advertisement for it. And uh we uh so we drove over this morning. Didn't get over till noon. Plane closed up at two o'clock. Good thing it wasn't a big show. It was a good size little show. I mean, there was a lot of show going on in there. There was only like two or three people selling stuff. So there was a lot of show going on in that building. It wasn't a very big building, but it was it was a good show to go to. They don't all have to be huge. But uh, that was pretty, pretty good. There is also another show coming up in Bridgewater at the high school... December the 3rd, I think it is. Um, if I'm wrong on that, I'll go back and fix it. But I think it's December, December the 3rd. That one's coming up here for long. And uh, we'll probably hit that one up too. And, you know, one of these days we're going to get that display put together. Put, it, put that display together and get over there to one of these shows. And spend a couple, spend a day or so, that, you know, doing that sort of thing. One of these days, hopefully. Um, keep saying that, but it ain't happened yet, so. Anyways. And we rode around international dealers and, and uh, came on home. And took the long way back through the country and over the mountain, through the woods. And, and uh, well... We'll see what we get into tomorrow. Y'all make sure you like and subscribe. We definitely need those. Thank you.